Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Resonate LLC or Resonate BR as I am on Instagram. I'm here to do a uh, video on how I've been doing uh, these cute little uh, storage jars um, and how I make them. Um, this one in particular, what I did was I just brushed the inside with a little bit of uh, Color Shift Mica. And I have it on this really interesting little tray because I plan to put this into a pressure pot uh, after I make it. So that way any air bubbles in it will go away completely. So uh, that being said, I have my resin already pre-made. It is a thin viscosity resin this time. Uh, I have found either thin or thick works really well because in the pressure pot, all the air bubbles go away. But for this case, I just try, I'm trying out a thin one. And what I also try to do is all the little extra stuff I put on a plate next to me. So I have this Sparkle White, Max Sparkle White, and Magic Ocean, both from Deluc Art, and uh, some green uh, glass from Counterculture. And I have these beautiful moths. Uh, these are the Micro uh, Morphos. And this is from one of the other mixes. All of these are from um, Moth and Myth. And some pressed uh, uh, maiden hair fern. I love the look on that one. And that is from uh, Nature's Pressed. The rest of these are little flowers and stuff like that I got. I bought them at Michael's. So I think that about wraps up what I've what I do and mix it up here. So here we go, trying to get this ready. So I'm gonna try and add just a little bit in here for the color. I am not gonna use a whole lot of color this time. So I'm just doing like a half an ounce per color, roughly. And that's it for that. Um, this Max Sparkle looks amazing. Hopefully my phone will stop automatically trying to do its thing. Sparkly, I love it. Yes, I'm gonna use Max Sparkle very, very lightly. I think this is a lot more sparkle than what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> now let's see what this Magic Ocean is gonna be. I'm loving this blue. And since it was blue Morpho, I figured why not, ooh. Ooh, I think this is gonna be my favorite color ever. I, ha I love blue. Blue is my favorite color. And oh yes. Oh yes. So, so pretty. So I'm just mixing this up right now. All right, now I'm gonna set that aside because I want these two to kind of thicken up a little bit. I Because what I do is all the heavy stuff drips to the bottom, which will be the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the glass in first and let it kind of come up here so I'll have like some green uh, chunky stuff up here. I'm gonna pour the clear and then put in all the flowers and stuff like flowers and butterflies. And then at the very top, I'm gonna drip in the Max Sparkle and the blue and let it go around the center section. But I'm not gonna use much. If you use too much, it ends up just totally messing up and it just totally looks like blah. And for this guy, this is the lid. So again, this looks like the lid, this is the top. So I just pour, put a little bit of that uh, mica on the top. I'm gonna use the bigger butterfly and set it on top. So this part here is gonna be clear. I might put a little bit of the ocean blue right here around the rim, but I'm gonna take, keep it very, very subtle and then I'm gonna do just clear. So that's, that's, what I'm, that's my plan. So let's uh, get started here. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in a little bit of clear. I hope this is working. Just a little bit. This is the glass from Counterculture. So I'm gonna just let it kind of fall where it's gonna fall. It looks a lot more organic this way. I kind of like it. Okay. 
Try not to scratch the uh, interior there. You know, I'm going to go ahead and add some more. There we go. Okay. Now I'm now comes the tricky part. I'm going to add in the clear for the vast majority of it. Leave a little room to kind of work with. Okay, now comes the fun part. Let's see if I can zoom in here on how we're going to work with this. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in these maidenhair ferns. Because this is going to be the trick. These are wide. Okay, come on. Come on, fingers. Come on, fingers. There we go. These are wide, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of bend them around the center section without breaking them. That's going to be a trick. And once I get that bend, I can kind of shove it in there. One in on that side. Now I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to do it like this. So, do, do, do. let's see if I can try and put this in without it breaking. And now what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of pushing it to the wall of the jar. So that way I actually have more room to put everything else. So now I can actually kind of put in some of these flowers. And I can clip that off later. Try putting in one of these little okay. doing compute doing video skills while doing this is rather difficult. So I'm gonna put in one of these butterflies kind of right there. And see what I like about having these stems too is the stems can actually kind of help you. There we go. Place where what you want to place. Oops. And if they're too big, what we can do is, of course, where my thing go? Here it is. Show you the trick. Clip it. Right now. And then push the stem. That way the stem is being pushed against the wall of the jar. Here's what I'm going to have to do with all of these. Try and put this guy in there. This is gonna be tricky. You can tell. Yep, this is gonna be tricky because it's a very, very floppy flower. Now, what I did was also with these uh, morphos. What I did was I um, I glued them to the flowers that they're on beforehand because if you do that then the um then they won't float up 
because the material of what this stuff is made of has a tendency to float in resin. So be careful when using it, <laughs> is all I gotta say. All right, let's see here. I think I might try this side here. All right, I'm gonna try one more. I'm gonna try it right here. Okay, and now I can add in all the other little stuff. Some more flowers. Maybe trim out the stem a little bit. Keep reaching for the popsicle stick. if you tuck in the stem so that way it's touching the sides of the wall especially this one this one is easier to do that with some of the other jars that are just completely straight up it's a little bit more difficult and actually I would recommend doing layers uh, in those okay I think I'm gonna do snip this one here Okay. All right. Yep, it's not getting warm yet, so I still have some time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on a little bit of this, the top. Loving this blue. go just a little bit there move this up here so I can actually pour okay sometimes simple is more <laughs> okay just set this guy right in here I'm going to make sure it is completely encased in resin. It's okay if it kind of comes to the top as long as it's completely covered in resin. It'll kind of hold it. Just got to be really super careful. I'm going to do just a little bit of sparkle. Because why not, right? Sparkly. That's going to be pretty. Hope y'all can see that. Okay, I'm going to let that sit for now. I might come back to it and add some more later. All right. Making sure nothing is floating backwards, which is good. It does not appear to be. I see one little thing here. Okay, that's, that's in there. Good, good, good. All right. I see bubbles coming up. That's good. That's good. That's why I kind of like this thin viscosity resin in here. Okay, I'm going to add in the last little bit of clear that I have, or a little bit more anyway. Covering up this bottom. Now I get to add the colors. This is the fun part here. So I'm gonna drip it 
all around. Let it do its thing. I'm going to add in a little bit of this glitter. And I'm trying to keep this as gentle as possible. Because resin is going to kind of swirl on its own in the convection when it's, when it's curing a bit. I don't think the sparkle will detract too much, but if you use too much of the blue, that really could dis detract a lot. So. <sighs> Sorry. Again, I apologize. This is probably not the best video of a tutorial and I apologize I'm trying I'm not really that good at it yet all right well since the resin is kind of like at the very top of this jar I think that's about as much as what I can do so I'm gonna leave this be for right now and we can come back in one sleep later and see how it turns out so I will go put this into the pressure pot and wish me luck. Thank you.